And a good Sunday morning to you. I'm Andrea Oliver. Welcome to this edition of Polk County Today. My guest today is a graduate of the University of Florida College of Journalism and the University of Florida College of Law. Go Gators. Uh, she served as general counsel for Edward Waters College and was appointed by Governor Jeb Bush to the inaugural board of trustees for the University of Central Florida. In 2012, she was appointed uh, COO of the Florida Polytechnic University and comes with a wealth of experience in the State University System of Florida. Dr. Ava Parker, welcome to our program on this Sunday. It is a joy to have you here. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be here. Well, I know that you hit the ground running, and it's been an extremely uh, business, busy season of life. We're going to be talking about where you guys are now in the, the planning uh, stages, what's going on, what's to come. But before we do, um, so you're busy about your business, I think in Jacksonville, somewhere there, and you get a call from the governor saying, I'd like you to... Uh, oversee this project for me. Your thoughts are? Well, um, definitely surprised. And I have to say that the call actually came from the board chair. Okay. So the chair of the board of trustees for Florida Polytechnic <clears throat> University um, calls and just says, I have something that I'd like for you to consider. So I was um, totally, totally surprised. Well, I, I am certain that ought to um in addition to surprise, it ought to put somewhat of a feeling of accomplishment, a sense of I have made a mark and there are some people who are expressing confidence in my ability to oversee something of this nature. Um, what it is that you suppose they saw that uh, elevated you to that place where you were the one that they wanted to do this? I, mean, I think you're right in that, or pardon me, you're definitely, pardon me, you're definitely right in that I was honored um, to get the call. Um, maybe they thought that I was crazy enough to say yes. <laughs> um, but I think that it's something about the, um, if you add up all of my experiences together, that I will be a likely person to work with the board that has such a huge task. Mm -hmm. I mean, I have been a board member because I've served, uh, served on the University of Central Florida Board of Trustees. I've also served on the Board of Governors of the State University System. So I've, I've really sat, you know, in the seat of a board member. Mm -hmm. um, I also have, you know, dealt with a lot of policy issues kind of as a governing body for the whole system. I was aware of policy issues. And then as a lawyer, I'd actually represent an institution before. Mm -hmm. So when you think about the issues that um, you know, that I've been involved with over my professional career, I think it's just kind of when you bundle them together, I'm uniquely or was uniquely put in a position to help them build something as monumental yes. as Florida's 12th State University. And perfect fit. It, it apparently seems that way. Um, I love the opportunity. <laughs> I mean, certainly I hope they think it's a perfect fit. I think that um, it's certainly something that you engulf yourself into and you have to love it in order mm -hmm. to ensure you do a good job at it. You came in at a time when a lot of controversial issues surrounded uh, the, the, the Florida Polytechnic University and had to sort of forage your way through all of that. Um, your thoughts on looking back on, on, on some of those concerns that maybe people had and, and, and um, you know, maybe some of the negatives that came as a result of, of some of those concerns? Uh, my first thought is that I always tell people, thank you. Um, you know, thank you that you cared enough about this project whether you wanted it to stand alone or whether you wanted it to be a part of the University of South Florida, that if you care enough about it to have an opinion, mm -hmm. you know, I appreciate that. And I appreciate the foundation that was laid by University of South Florida so we could be here today. And I appreciate the people who had ideas that kind of um, give me the opportunity to, to almost fulfill their vision. So I think that when I start conversations with people who didn't like this idea, I tell them, you know, we really are living out what you thought was best for Polk County in the state of Florida. Now, maybe it didn't turn out the way you thought that it mm -hmm. should turn out, but there are pros and there are possibly cons of both sides of the argument. So it's my job to focus on the pros and to show you how, while maybe we didn't start um, this journey when I got here with the University of South Florida, it's because of that relationship that we can say we have a Florida Polytechnic University. My guest today is Dr. Ava Parker, and uh, yes, we are talking to the Chief Operating Officer of uh, Florida's 12th University, 
uh, Florida Polytechnic. Uh, so months fast forward, and right now you are an extremely pivotal uh, point. A number of things have uh, transpired to get you to this place. Um, tell me exactly where we are now in the whole process, because I know there are plans to start getting students coming in by the fall of next year. As we will open our doors to 500 students in the fall of 2014, those students will be freshmen, transfer students, and master's level students. So now we're putting all the pieces together in order to ensure that we're ready for those students. So we're continuing to work on our innovation, science, and technology building, which will open in June of 2014. We're building the curriculum. Um, What's fascinating about that is that we're hiring great faculty from across the country to come in and work with our um, vice president for academic affairs and our assistant vice president and that whole academic team to build this cutting edge, exciting curriculum that students are going to want to be a part of. And we're also just putting together the student services and all the back office support that you need for a university. Um, So right now we're very busy and kind of Ideally, I guess in a perfect world, you'd be able to have years of planning and then you'd have implementation. What's interesting about what we do is that we plan and we implement all at the same same time. time. And I think that the fast pace of technology and the, and the way that thing, that people do things now, it allows us that luxury. That is that we can actually plan and implement simultaneously to ensure we have the best that there is to offer for our students in August of 2014. I cannot imagine that it would be a hard sell to convince some professional to come to this little bit of heaven here on earth. I can't imagine. But um, as you go across, um, uh, Dr. Parker, or, or the, the group that will uh, or is entrusted with the, the, the jobs, per se, of, of getting the professors, et cetera, et cetera. What are some of the things they're hearing uh, as feedback um, ab- about coming and being a part of this great project? People, professors, um, academicians, um, just general uh, academic professionals, they're interested in the opportunity to build something new. I mean, we are building a 21st century university. And that is not something that's available to folks in other part of the country. Mm-hmm. That is that, you know, to actually come in and from scratch become a part of the planning and the implementation of the foundation for Florida's 12th mm-hmm. state university. So I think the first thing that draws people is the excitement, the mm-hmm. opportunity. You are creating history and your ideas are being considered. And um, this is not something that you'll get to do anywhere else. I think the second thing that people like is that they want to come to Lakeland. I mean, Lakeland is a beautiful city. I think that um, folks understand the value of being in the middle of the I-4 corridor in the middle of the state of Florida and to really have a piece of heaven at their fingertips. Um, The last person to join our team came from New York. I mean, so while New York is a fabulous city, um, it may feel like this today, but a few more months when we still feel like this, it'll be cold there. Yes. Um, so I think that it is something about our community, our people, what we offer as a part of Florida that draws or that is drawing our team to the university. Undoubtedly, um, there are many who think that the fact that we are making advancements, not only as a nation, but as a world, when it comes to technology, then certainly that we ought to be preparing young minds to take up the mantle, so to speak, and run with this. So as you mentioned, there is room for uh, not only a 12th university for Florida, but a university of this nature. When you present this argument, um, what is it exactly or what are some of the thoughts um, you're getting on? We need to do this and we need to do this now and we need to do this in this place. Right. I think that the first thing I say to folks is that we're Florida's only state university that has a mission mission to provide graduates in science, technology, engineering, and math. So while our other sister universities have great comprehensive programs, we're the only one with that specific mission. I think that, you know, folks should understand that we're Florida's only and first polytechnic Mm -hmm. university, which is a great marriage of industry focus and research and really connecting to ensure that you're building cutting edge programs so that our students will have jobs when they graduate. And it's something special about the synergies that will be created when you have a college of engineering and a college of technology. And those are the only two areas that you're addressing. 
it's kind of like, um, you know, I went to University of Florida. It's a great institution, and we have like a, a, a huge landscape of different degree, degree offerings. But here, because we're focusing on just engineering, mm-hmm. just technology, the synergies that will be created at this university, the research and the innovation that it will develop is something that cannot be duplicated at other institutions. I know recently you had Apple uh, or an exec from Apple to come down into because there will be some partnership uh, going on there between uh, that group and what you will do is is the plan to maybe partner with a similar um, organizations, similar entities uh, as you put forth your, your program? It is. Partnership is a, a big foundation uh, for our university. Um, we recently sponsored an industry summit where we had over 50 companies that come in and have a conversation with us. Because we are in a unique position, we thought it was great. Why not, before we build the curriculum, let's have a conversation about what you want from your graduates. What do you want you know, your new employees or new entrants in the job market to know and understand? So to show our commitment to partnership, we sponsored this industry partner summit where we had you know, the conversations with future employers so they would have an opportunity to voice their opinions and their concerns. So big companies like Harris and Boeing and, you know, smaller companies like um, local companies like Saddle Creek Mm -hmm. and CSX, they were all they were part of the conversation. But it was culminated by one of our larger supporters, which is Apple. You know, we are in uh, partnership conversations with them. And what's special about Apple is that they have a reputation for being um, innovators. It is an innovative company. And because we are Florida's innovative university, we think that the relationship and the partnership is um, natural for us. And we're excited to have Apple supporting our vision for the university. Ava Parker is our guest today. She is uh, COO of Florida Polytechnic University. And in the, um, can we still call it the baby stages right now? Uh, Certainly in our infancy right now um, of what is going to be an awesome gem in, and, and we get to claim in our backyard here in Central Florida. I know that and I'm going to take this from a slice of life. Many of us who've had children and especially the first child, we gear up for this big day. We gear up for, in, in your case, it would be the, the receiving those first uh, students. So, so we gear up for this big day. We are all excited. We're doing all of that. And then we, we get to the big day and then what next? Wow. So let us move beyond <laughs> that next huge step. To the what next, the vision over long term for Florida Polytechnic. You know, it's um, when planning something large like this, certainly you're focused on the first day. So I'm focused on August 2014 and what that might look like. But I also understand we're building um, we're building a foundation. That is that we're building a foundation for a university that's going to certainly Um, have a positive impact on Florida that will be far beyond my lifetime. You know, when our board of trustees sat down and said, what is it that we want for Florida? We wanted a a university that would be an economic engine. Um, So we paid attention to what Florida wanted. We looked at the economic indicators at Enterprise Florida and said, what companies do you want to have as a part of our economic landscape? And we were building an institution that would help with that so that when we're going to recruit companies to come and change our um, change our economy, that they'll be able to say we have a research university that can help produce the workforce mm-hmm. that you need to expand and build your company. So when I look across and see the vision for the university, I see the kind of partnership with the state and industry that will certainly change the landscape of our um, you know of, of our whole economic and um, workforce. I cannot imagine that at this point, although I sincerely hope so, that you have much of of any downtime. (laughs) But in your, uh, no matter how minute, uh, downtime, what might we find you doing? I do a couple of things. You can find me at least a couple of times a week um, walking around Lake Hollingsworth after work. <laughs> you probably shouldn't say yeah. that. No. <laughs> <laughs> there you can find me for sure. That's one of the gems of Lake, is Lake yes. Hollingsworth. And so you're finding me there. And then on weekends, you find me with my kids. I have um, a set of twins, a little boy and a little girl. They're four years old. So um, I spend a lot of time with them and with my husband. Well, we are certainly excited to have you here in the Lakeland area. We're 
uh, looking forward to this uh, great university and the fact that um, we, we, we get to, you know, say this is right here where we are. And we just want to um, say thank you for agreeing to um, be the inaugural CEO. We, we hope we can keep you for a very, very long time. And, um, you know, I, I am trusting that I'll be invited to tour that beautiful facility in a, in a very short time, uh, once you get yourself settled in and, and are there, it is beautiful. To remind us again where it, it will be. Um, our, our campus is out on I-4. It's right next to the parkway, um, very near, I guess, exit 41. Um, it's the beautiful building that's going up there. And um, certainly you're invited at any time for a tour. I'd recommend you wait until about December so that um, it'll be a little bit cooler. Yeah. Uh, but you're certainly invited at any time. A quick website where um, prospective sure. students, et cetera, uh, students, can check. You can come to floridapolytechnic.org. And um, our recruitment site is be the next dot, uh, dot org. Yes. All right. Thank you so very much. And thank you for joining us. We'll talk next week.